Yes, and just to say a little bit about that, it will be three different translations of a passage from Matthew, so it will be a familiar passage, passage but perhaps it will give us a new feeling for the passage to hear it read, not only in different translations, but by different voices. It is a good thing to give thanks to God and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to tell of your loving kindness early in the morning and of your faithfulness in the night season, to the music of the lute and the harp, to the melody of the lyre. For you have made me glad by your acts, O God, and I shout for joy because of the work of your hands. Welcome to this digital contemplative prayer group. This is a place for all God's people. Whatever your beliefs or doubts, you are welcome here. If you're new to Centering Prayer, just follow the instructions as the session unfolds. And you're also welcome to use the silence in any other way that is right for you. Loving God, we ask for your blessings upon this gathering. Recognizing that we bring the joys and sorrows of our lives here today, if anyone would like to mention silently or aloud expressions of thanksgiving or concern for ourselves, our families, our friends, our society, or our fragile planet, please do so now. For Ekua, and for Donna. Patrick. Nick and Wayne. For John and Catherine. God, we trust that you hear our prayers, silent or spoken, wordless or in words. And before we go into our 20 minute period of centering prayer, I'm just gonna read a very short reading by Desmond Tutu. As we keep still in the presence of God, we luxuriate in this knowledge that we are loved, that all we are, all we have is a gift, freely and generously bestowed. All we must do is to be deeply thankful, to say forever, thank you God for loving me so much. So I invite you to take your posture for our 20 minutes period of centering prayer. Sit with your back straight and your feet flat on the ground or in any other stable position, your hands on your thighs or in your lap. And gently close your eyes and take a few deep breaths and notice if there are any adjustments you'd like to make to be comfortable and alert for the prayer period. And take a moment to notice who God is for you right now, whatever that might mean. A sense of gratitude, a sense of mystery, of loss or absence or presence aliveness, 
Whatever it might be for you, renew your commitment to be open to that divine presence. And if you'd like, you can silently begin to repeat your sacred word or touch your breath gently with your attention, using your sacred symbol to orient yourself towards God. During the prayer period, whenever you notice that you've become engaged with your thoughts, ever so gently disengage yourself using your sacred symbol if you like. Thank you for the gift of this time in your presence, O oh God.
So for our Lexio Divina tonight, as I mentioned before, we'll have three different readers and three different translations of a passage from Matthew. But other than that, it will just be the same as usual. We'll hear the passage read three times with silences in between. I'll cue our readers so they don't have to worry about when to start. And at the end, you'll be invited to share a word or phrase that res resonated for you. So just listen with the ear of the heart whenever you're ready, Joe. Jesus withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd and he had compassion for them and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, this is a deserted place and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away so that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, they need not go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, we have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And he said, bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the crowds <clears throat> and all ate and were filled. And they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, 12 baskets full. And those who ate were about 5,000 men besides women and children. Modesta, whenever you're ready. When Jesus heard of it, he departed thence by ship into a desert place apart. And when the people had heard thereof, they followed him on foot out of the cities. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them. And he healed their sick. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him saying, this is a desert place and the time is now past. Send the multitude away that they may go into the villages and buy themselves fiddles. But Jesus said unto them, they need not depart. 
Give ye them to eat. And they say unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes. He said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and took the five loaves and the two fishes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed and brake and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up of the fragments that remained 12 baskets full. And they that had eaten were about 5,000 men beside women and children. Whenever you're ready, Maggie. When Jesus got the news, he slipped away by boat to an out-of-the-way place by himself. But unsuccessfully, someone saw him and the word got around. Soon, a lot of people from the nearby villages walked around the lake to where he was. When he saw them coming, he was overcome with pity and healed their sick. Toward evening, the disciples approached him. We're out in the country and it's getting late. Dismiss the people so they can go to the villages and get some supper. But Jesus said, there is no need to dismiss them. You give them supper. All we have are five loaves of bread and two fish, they said. Jesus said, bring them here. Then he had the people sit on the grass. He took the five loaves and two fish, lifted his face to heaven in prayer, blessed, broke, and gave the bread to the disciples. The disciples then gave the food to the congregation. They all ate their fill. They gathered 12 baskets of leftovers. About 5,000 were fed.
I invite you to share a word or phrase that resonated for you. Move with compassion. Compassion. Filled. Filled. Healed. Let's close by saying together the prayer of Jesus, ground of all being, mother of life, father of the universe. Your name is sacred, beyond speaking. May we know your presence. May your longings be our longings in heart and in action. May there be food for the human family today and for the whole earth community. Forgive us the falseness of what we have done as we forgive those who are untrue to us. Do not forsake us in our time of conflict, but lead us into new beginnings. For the light of life, the vitality of life, and the glory of life are yours now and forever. Amen. Well, thank you to our readers. That was a real treat for me to hear all those different voices reading the passage. That was nice. Yeah. Yes, it was beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, good to see everybody. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Happy thank you. Good night, Hi, everybody. Pleasure. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay. And Have more. a nice evening. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Stay safe and everybody. Thanks for, you thanks for you. doing it, Lindsay. Oh, thank, thank you, Lindsay, for thank adding you, Lindsay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. Lindsay. Spoiled having three days in a row. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 We're being spoiled. <laughs> Are you readers okay with my putting your names on the, if I put the video up on YouTube, is it okay yes. to see your names? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, yes, yeah. Thank you for the opportunity to do that, Lindsay. It was yes, I echo that, thank you, Lindsay. Yes, yes, okay. and the pressure's on now that you've, now that we know how wonderful it is to have three days in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good night. Take care. <laughs>